If you are looking to buy Foot22 coins, check out u7buy.com for the cheapest prices out there. Fast delivery, safe, and if you use the code Y5K, you get yourself up to 5% off. Link in the description. Yo, what's going on guys, Y5K, welcome to a new player review on FIFA 22, today we are taking a look at the 84 rated role breaker Frank Onika, what a great center defending mid, if I'm being honest he is looking like he might be one of the most overboard center defending mids on the Premier League, now sadly he has got a base downgrade but other than that everything got upgraded, high high work rate which is ideal for a center mid or a center defending mid, Absolutely great defending physical, he has got 85 defending, 86 physical with 82 pace. With 3 star, 3 star which is in my opinion good for a center defending mid, not bad at all. Now for his in-game stats he has got 83 sprint speed, 80 vision, 82 short pass with 76 long pass, 90 agility with 91 balance at 81 reactions, that's absolutely great for a center defending mid. For his defending stats he has got 87 interceptions, 85 stand tackle with 80 slide tackle, 92 stamina which is great, 85 strength and 80 aggression. For real he is looking like he might be a great great center defending mid to use in game. With that being said ladies and gentlemen before we jump into the video if you're not around here don't forget to subscribe, drop a like on this video that will be always appreciated. And now let's jump into the gameplay and let's see what the 84 rated Frank Onika can do. After playing 4 matches with the role breaker Frank Onika, I think it's safe to say that he's an absolutely great overboard center defending mid on FIFA 22. What I really like about him is his high high work rate which is an absolutely amazing thing to have on a center defending mid or a center mid with absolutely great strength, base and interceptions for a center defending mid. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, I wasn't expecting him to have good dribbling in game. But for real, he really surprised me about how good his dribbling is in game. From agility, balance, reactions, ball control, and composure, he has got it all. Good passing in game for a center defending mid, not bad at all. And if I'm being honest, he has got the perfect physicality for a center defending mid. And put on your mind, he is 6 foot. 3 star skill moves with 3 star weak foot. For me, I think that's ideal for a center defending mid. For the best chem style to use with him, if you want to use him as a center defending mid, I advise you to go with the shadow chem style which increases base and defending, but if you want to use him as a center mid, I advise you to go with the maestro chem style which increases shooting, passing and dribbling. Now let's move on into the good things about him, I'm going to start off with the best thing with him which is going to be his physical, great physicality in game, for real everything with his physical is good in game from strength, aggression, jumping and stamina. Trust me when I say he has got the physical that you need from your center defending mid. Now next up we have got his defending, absolutely great defending for a center defending mid. Really good stand tackle and slide tackle in game but the best thing with his defending it's gonna go for his interceptions. As we all know for a center defending mid interceptions are really important. And to be honest his interceptions are perfect for a center defending mid in game. And what about his passing, does he has bad passing in game? Not gonna lie to you, nothing special with his passing, just the average passing for a center defending mid, not bad but it could be a lot better. And for his dribbling, like I said he really surprised me about how good his dribbling is in game. Now after you try him you might say he has got average dribbling, nothing special. But for me I wasn't expecting him to have good dribbling at all, really good agility in game as well. And for me I think his base is ideal for a center defending mid with really good sprint speed in game. And of course I'm not gonna forget his high high work rate which is an absolutely amazing thing in my opinion to have on your center mid or center defending mid. Now let's move on into the bad things with him, I'm going to start off with his long pass. Now for me I like to play a long pass from my center defending mid into the attack. And if I'm being honest, Frank Onika does not have good long passing in game. I tried more than 5 times to go with a long pass with him and sadly he couldn't pull it off. And for his shooting, I'm not gonna lie to you, he has got bad slash average shooting in game, but he's a center defending mid. The most thing that you're gonna do with his shooting is long shots and again, sadly he has got bad long shots in game. Don't you even try a single long shot with him. In the end I think he is an absolutely great overboard center defending mid to use in game, high high work rate, 3 star, 3 star, great base, defending, interceptions, physical, strength and dribbling in game. Now on the Premier League I would rank him as the third best center defending mid right now on the Premier League after Ongolo Kante and the road to the final thread. Yes and 100% he is better than Alan, Fabino, Rodri and all other players. And if you wanna ask who is better, flashback on Golo Kante or roll breaker on Ikan. Now if I'm being honest they both have similar stats with high high work rate. 
But the difference is that Onyx has got a lot better strength than the 87 rated Ongolo Kante. As a center defending mid, I would go with the Rolo Breaker Onika, but as a center mid, I would go with the 87 rated Ongolo Kante. That's because I think he has got better shooting, dribbling, and passing in game. And overall, I'm gonna give him 8.5 out of 10. Really liked him in game, especially because of his base, physical, stamina, defending, and interceptions. With that being said, this is the video done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Tell me in the comments below which player do you want to see next. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.